Hi you guys and thank you for joining me today. I hope everyone out there is doing well. This video is going to be for some Global Land dyes. So they sent me um, a purse dye, a tassel dye, and a water droplets dye which is the earring dye. And at first glance they all look alike based on the packaging but when I looked at my packing slip they were all different. So what's special about these dies? These dies are about 17 millimeters thick, so that's a bit over a half an inch. And they are designed to fit into your Sizzix Big Shot, which is what I'm using, or any like thicker slot die cutting machine. Um, the instructions on their website actually say that you can turn it over on your fabric and hit it with a hammer. Um, I suppose that could work. Um, but anyway, so I did cut mine with the Sizzix Big Shot. Stay tuned to the end of this video. You'll see how I did my sandwich for this. So about the actual die, the inside of the die cutting mold is made of natural wood. So you can actually like pull back some of the foam a little bit and see that there is wood underneath there. And then inside of the wood are your metal cutting blades. The outside of the die is blue. It's PVC and it's just a plastic box. And then there's a thick sponge mat to fully protect the die cut and to avoid breaking when using. Um, this material upgrade is more durable, reusable for long-term use and eco-friendly with no pollution. The shapes are well formed and the result cuts are crisp and straight and it's sharp and don't leave marks. You shouldn't directly firmly press over the surface of the sponge mat because the blades underneath could possibly cut you. So this particular die is the coin purse die. It can also be a package card holder. I think it would be so awesome to have like a package of earrings or something in it. Um, it can also be a gift card holder. Okay, and here is the next die. Let's open it up and see which one this is. Okay, this one looks like the water droplet earrings and that's nice. This is actually a kind of larger than I thought. So let's get a ruler, tape measure. That's about four inches on that one. Um, about three inches on that one. This teardrop shape is about three inches on the big one and about two and a half inches on that one. Really cute. I think I'll have some fun making some earrings on that one. And then let's open this one up. Oh, and this is the tassel. So you can see the ridges already in here. So super exciting. And what did I do with the tape measure just that fast? Okay. And so on this tassel one, it extends, this is about three inches. So I'm definitely going to have fun playing with these and see how they run through my big shot. So make sure that you stay tuned so you can see what type of projects that I make with this. Okay, so I've been experimenting with how to use this cutting die on my Sizzix. This is the Wallet die, and as you can see, my cutting plate is a little bit short. So um, I think I'm going to have to do like a piece of it and then run it through again. So let's get started. I'm going to use this cutting part. This is the one that I always use on the bottom. I am using a piece of this faux leather. This faux leather is from Crafter Square and it is in white and that's how that looks and so I'm just going to cover my bottom plate with that and I'm going to take my wallet die and put it upside down so this is my little sandwich and then my top cover is going to go right on top and I'm going to slide this through Okay, so it's kind of easy to um, pull through. And before I remove it, because I know that I don't have this part of it, I'm just going to slide it down a little bit. And then I'm going to run this in through again. 
and hopefully this will work. Okay. And so I only wanted to do maybe like one pass. Okay, so this is my top cover I'm removing. This is the die that I'm removing. And then this is my leather piece. And look at that. So it did move. Dang. So if you have the regular nine inch in length cutting plate for the Big Shot, I would recommend cutting this die in two different parts. If you have the longer extended plates, then you should be okay for this die. So to see some options on how I finish this coin purse up, make sure you come back next week. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in these Global Land dies, you can check the description box for the direct link to their website. There will also be a direct link to the new special die so you can check out these thick dies. And if you're interested in receiving $5 off of an order of $40 or more, you can definitely use the coupon code that they have provided for you and it is STACE5. Thank you so much and until next time, bye-bye.